inspired and, and to see the possibility because ultimately when you see possibility the whole world opens up to you and everything becomes possible for you now what I want us to do is just the last 20 minutes quickly to just look at how now it's all fine saying what yes I can it's wow let me throw my hand in the fist and I'm so inspired but the next step is how and what I want to just encourage you guys to do is, is I'm, I've just started a TV series on Soweto TV. It's, the first episode is going to air in the middle of November. And it's a pilot series of 13 weeks. The way we've structured the program is as you watch each episode, there's valuable takeaway things, tools, techniques, things that you can actually use. So that 13 weeks later, you've got all the tools, all the things you need to actually start to unlock your success. I'm going to show you three of those tools now. That Soweto TV series is going to show you 21. The, the initial thing is 13, but we've worked it out over 21 weeks. Watch every week. It's going to be on a Wednesday night, I think from either 5.30 to 6 or 6 to 6.30 in the evening. Okay, Soweto TV, Wednesday night. Do yourself a favor. There's a whole lot of tools, a whole lot of techniques, and very, very, very good people. Um, we've already got someone like Doc, Dr. John DiMartini. He's, he's going to feature in episode 2 and episode 10. Bob Proctor is going to be in episode 4 and episode 8. And uh, my co-hosts, Mabatu and Alex. Alex Granger is the sales director of Tempest Car Hire, and Mabatu is just one of the most special people you'll ever meet in your life. She is a human behavioral specialist she, she's amazing so i highly recommend if you want to take and learn and and, and turn what you what you, your inspiration is or your motivation is today into success and into something you can actually use do yourself a favor and watch that series it'll give you a whole lot of tools a whole lot of techniques that you can actually use the first one that i want us to talk about today is sorry andrew it's called the empower yes it's called sorry the, the series is called the empower half hour we've got our own jingle and everything Alex sang for us, it's stunning. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait for the first one to air. It's mid-November. The first thing I want us to look at is, if you want to make success in your future, you need to set time aside specifically to work on your life. Because the biggest challenge that we have is we don't have enough time, or so we think. So the first thing I want us to do is, is I want us to know that when we make this time available in our day, it could be at home at night, it could be at tea, at lunch, somewhere where you're going to find time, shut your life down for that time and make sure that you're only focusing on what is important to you. And what I've got is a short little video of about a minute, just showing you how not to conduct those meetings. I can't believe we're pulling it off a hundred million dollar deal. Yeah. That is outstanding. I just want to switch this because I don't want to be disturbed. This is, this is awesome, man. This is awesome. Uh, just, so yeah. tell me, where, where do you want to go from here? Um, during now, I'm just going to just handle these mails quickly. Let me just see what's going through here. Um, we, we, we need to put a pen in there. Yeah, no, no, Dory, you're right, but it's true. But, you know, these phones are so distracting. It's not SMS as they've come through and stuff. It's incredible. Um, you know, well, it's just how much time it's not that we... No, you know, it's you, no, no, Dory, you know how important this deal is. Yeah. I mean, you're certainly not wasting your time at all. It's all about, it's about making this deal happen. I mean, you, you are, after all, our most important client. And the size of this deal is just incredible. Uh, thanks, Dory. That's amazing. Just, um... Leave these bills. They just, you know, they just keep coming through. It's just yeah. crazy. No, 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 no. It's nothing to do with our deal. It's just amazing, crazy stuff. I don't know. But getting back to getting back to the same thing about the deal I've already. Um, what do you? Just a these calls are, you know, you know, these calls are really important, and, and I need to take them and stuff. Hi, honey. Go on, I'll bring. I'll, I'll definitely bring some milk home tonight. I know. Uh, oh my goodness, really? Are you kidding? Wow. No, that's hilarious. My goodness, no way. No, I just got, um, you know that guy we're doing that deal with? I've got him in my office at the moment. That $100 million deal. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, listen, I'll be getting back to you. I don't want to be too distracted. All right, thanks. Bye now. Dorian, sorry. <laughs> would conduct a meeting for a hundred million dollars like that. <laughs> I'm saying to you, you're conducting a more important meeting than that meeting. You're conducting a meeting with your future. What's more important than that? Commit to make that time sacrosanct. What I mean by sacrosanct is nothing. Your phone is off. You do not get distracted by emails. Nobody, your family, your friends, nobody comes in to disturb you because that is the most important time to you. Who's the most important person in your life? You are. This time is the time that you are using. You're sitting aside in your diary. You look on a Sunday night and you say every day at 1.30 in the afternoon, every day at 7 p.m., it's your life. What is that time to you? When are you going to make that special time for you? Put it in your diary. Pen it in your diary. Nothing allows you to change that time. Because something amazing happens. If you don't put it in your diary, pen it into your diary, make it a commitment, something amazing happens. You leave it. And as time goes on, it just doesn't ever happen. If you had to cancel a meeting with somebody with a, for a $100 million deal like that, would you cancel it and just never go back and see him? Would you reschedule that meeting? Same thing for this. If your house burns down and for some reason you can't conduct your meeting with your future, what you do is you reschedule it. You make time to make sure that it happens. First thing you need to do in your life, this. Make the time available to do the things you need to do. And then secondly, you need to have what I refer to as your code of personal achievement. And that's a very simple concept. The code of personal achievement is simply this. I find five activities that I'm going to do every single day that are going to help me to achieve my dreams, my goals. And I make sure that I take those five actions no matter what. Before my head hits the pillow, I take those five actions every single day. And, and it's always easier to use the example, the losing weight example. Let's say it's the 1st of, or the 31st of December, and I'm wanting to lose 12 kilograms next year. So what do I do? My code of personal achievement is this. I will drink two liters of water a day. I will go to gym every single day. I will make sure that I walk. When I park my car, I'll walk a little bit further. I will eat six meals a day. I'll take fat out of my diet. Those are my codes. My head does not hit the pillow until I've done those five things every single day. Now, do you think if I do those five things that I'm going to lose weight? Of course. Well, I may not, but, but let's look at option number three. It'll address exactly that. So I'm going to be taking these actions every single day. Is it likely that if I do this, I'm more likely to lose weight than if I didn't do this? Yes. Of course. So my code is going to help me to take the actions. So I've got the time, my meeting with my future. Now I've got the five things that I'm going to do in that time. So I'm going to take those five actions within that time. And now I move on to the third one. Now that I know exactly what the five actions are, I've got the time. Now I have a look at the third one. Are the actions that I'm taking delivering the outcomes that I want? My performance management system. I measure the actions that I'm taking. So yes, you're absolutely right. It may not mean I'm going to lose weight. But what do I do? At the end of the week, I get on the scale. If I want to lose 12 kilograms in a year, that's a kilogram a month. It's 250 grams a week. So at the end of the week, if I get on the scale and I've only lost 100 grams, what is it telling me? The actions I'm taking are not delivering the outcome that I want. So what do I do? I change the actions. A week goes by, I get on the scale. I've lost 250 grams. 
My actions are working. Oh, I get on the scale, I've lost. Change the actions. Review the actions. Improve the actions. I've got the time. I've got the things that I need to do. I meet my future. Code of personal achievement. The five things I'm going to do every single day that are going to move me towards the success that I want. Remember what we spoke about earlier about Oziola. Five insignificant actions that you're going to take every single day that will almost feel pointless. Why am I doing these things? Over time, add up to the most amazing, incredible amount of success. Are those actions delivering the outcome that I want? How do I know? Well, I have a measurement system called my code of personal achievement. My code of personal achievement tells me, measures, Am I doing what I need to do? <coughs> Those are the three most important things that you need to have to start the process and sustain the process to the success that you want. Make the time. Commit to have those meetings. Shut your life down for that time. Make sure that all you're focusing on is meeting your future. How important is meeting your future? Well, it's more important than a deal that you would be making with someone for a hundred million dollars. Because who's it about? It's about you. It's about making the life, building, creating the life of your dreams in the future. Make the time available. Find out those five actions that are aligned with where you want to go. Take them every single day. Insignificant as they may seem at the time. Just keep taking them. But how do we know that those five actions are delivering the outcomes that we want? Well, we measure them. We have a performance management system where we measure are the results delivering the outcomes that I want? If they are, keep doing them. If they're not, change them, re replace them, improve them, make them better. Can you guys see a system that could work for you here? You've got the time, you've got the goods, the things you need to do, the actions, the tasks, and you're measuring them. Do you think if you brought a system like that into your life that you'd see remarkable changes? A anyone here think that that could help you? Can I ask us all to try this? Take these shoes that I'm offering you. As I said earlier, my shoes, they may fit you. They may be beautiful. You may enjoy them. They may give you blisters. This system might work for you. You've heard the saying, what if it is just an apple a day that keeps the doctor away and you're not eating that apple? What if it is just these three little things that you're going to bring into your life that are going to change your life completely, that are going to deliver on your dreams, but you don't take these three little or make these three little shifts in your life? What have you got to lose? You've got so much to gain so much to gain and that's what I'm appealing to all of us all of us in this room let's do this let's try it let's explore it let's experiment with it let's see where it takes us everybody in this room is walking how many times does a toddler fall on its butt and stand up and fall down and stand up and fall down before they learn to walk. Does the kid sit there and go, Mom, I've done this 50 times and I'm just not learning to walk. It's just not happening for me and I'm not doing it ever again. Any, any of you seen a kid do that? Okay. So sitting in this room are the most persistent people on this planet. The p most persistent beings on this planet are sitting in this room right now. Why? Because how many times did you try and fall on your butt until you learned to walk? How many? As many as it took. So that's what I'm appealing to you to do now. Go back to that childhood. Go back to that toddler. Go back to that little guy. Unlock him. And keep trying because there's no such thing as failure. Do you believe that? Can I tell you why there's no such thing as failure? There's no such thing as failure because you can only fail if you give up. 
if you're still trying, you haven't failed, you've just hit a roadblock, you've hit a challenge, you've hit something on your path that is slowing you down towards the future that you want. So there is no such thing as failure. You didn't fail as a toddler. Leave this room today with three words. If you can apply my three little principles, make time, meet your future. Code of personal achievement, take five insignificant actions every single day, measure those actions, and then bring these three words into your life. I will until. I will until I overcome any challenge. I will until I succeed. I will until I become the person I need to be to attract the success that I want. Why not every single person that's sitting in this room? There's been people that have started from more humble beginnings. There's people that have started from much tougher places than you. There's people that slept under park benches. 30 years later, they are billionaires. Why not you? You are the most unique, special diamonds. Get rid of that ship around the outside of your diamond. Begin to polish. Begin to expose. Begin to plant your acorn in the most fertile soil of your dreams. Take the actions. Feed your acorn, your potential. Feed it with the most amazing skills, knowledge, potential. By making the most or making the best use of your time. Use your commuting time to grow your knowledge. Don't push the snooze button in the morning. Use that time to read books. Change your education versus your entertainment ratio. Spend more time educating yourself and just a little less time entertaining yourself. What can you become? What can you build as your future? What are you, poss what are you capable of achieving? What are you capable of becoming? I see geniuses sitting in this room. I see people with unlimited potential. I see people that can do absolutely anything. And what I want to leave you with is a tool that can help you. If you go to my website, andrewhorton.co.za, there's a, a place where you can sign up that you can receive an inspirational message. I hope you've all got email accounts. It'll come to your email. It'll come to your email every day, a different inspirational message. And what it is, is me standing on your shoulder every day. It's your call to action. It's your little reminder to do things differently. It's your reminder to commit to those three processes. It's the reminder that, yes, there are going to be times when I'm going to feel like I'm taking all the actions, but nothing seems to be happening. But I have an adage, I will until... And I will keep trying until I succeed. And every day when I get that message, my call to action, that reminder from Andrew, I'm going to do it a little differently today. <coughs> Go on, sign up. It's uh, my daily inspirational message. It will come to your inbox. It will just be that trigger, that little something every day to fire you up, to make you better, to give you that little spark in the morning. And I'd like to say thank you to all of you. Thank Go you. and become what you can be. I, I, I'm really honored to have spoken to all of you. And I know, I know everyone sitting in this room can be anything they want to. Live your dreams. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you.